spread spectrum spread spectrum is the modulation technique that use in wireless LAN technology we're going to compare this one in the narrow band a narrow band is a band used by the radio station FM and AM the difference of this one is narrow band use a specific frequency and use a lot of power to broadcast the signal while spread spectrum uses a wide band width and a low peak power this this one is spread spectrum is hard to detect even harder to intercept or demodulate without a proper equipment you have to buy a specific equipment to read or to find the spec spread spectrum in your area and it's more secure it uses bit bit means zero and one this is the picture of comparison of spread spectrum and narrowband you can see that the narrowband is very high using high power and spread spectrum you can see below using a low low power okay uses of spread spectrum military operation used this back in 1950s and it uses a different modulation and different encoding techniques and different frequency it differs in the pu public we use is ism band industrial scientific and medical 2.4 to 2.5 and another spread spectrum is 5 gigahertz the uniband and licensed national inf infrastructure another use of spread spectrum is a cordless phone in our homes global positioning systems and our cell phones digital cell phones uses spread spectrum personal commuters and in our LAN, wireless LAN our 802.11 series uses that technology another one is wireless personal air network what are this these are the technology using bluetooth technology the IEE that IEE 802.15 and this one wireless man is using for a uh, long distance communication and wireless one another technology using sped spectrum with a wide range there are I'm going to explain to you the FHSS this is the first spread spectrum released in 1997 and it's the first spread spectrum in a wireless network 802.11 the name itself frequency hopping spread spectrum the signal or the radio frequency hop on a specific a specific frequency and it de depends on the FCC standard what the specific frequency they set and the speed of this one the uh, data rate is 1 to 2 megabits and it uses 75 megahertz the second one is direct sequence spread spectrum this is a technology used by 802.11b and it's released 1999 and it uses 22 megahertz wide and the data rate of this one is 5.5 to 11 megabits per second higher than a frequency hopping spread spectrum another spread spectrum is OFDM OFDM means orthogonal frequency division multiplexion this technology uses by 802.11a this is um, 5 gigahertz 5 gigahertz spread spectrum and it's widely used by 802.11g 
the exact um, amendment of this one is ERP means enhanced rate physical OFDM and it's now used in the market and another you using this OFDM as the new technology or the new generation it's the MIMO technology use this one as HT dash OFDM this means high throughput OFDM and it's now used in the market but it's a draft too and hopefully this year it's finalized on this 802.11n and the speed of a and g 802.11a and 802.11b is 54 and the high throughput or the 802.11n series is up to 300 or more it depends on the final amendment of this technology i hope you learn on the simple video thank you